this is something that transformed further negotiations into a farce. After this, the secessionist republics were recognized under strong pressure from Germany and the Vatican against the elementary principles of international law, the practice of the United Nations, and the practice of the leading power, the USA. Very well. On the basis of Smithman's declaration from the 7th of January 1932, the United Nations, uh, the United States promised not to recognize countries arising from violent changes. This principle first became the regional rule of the uh, USA and then entered the universal rules of international law. This time America trampled on its own law. In July 1991, before the war started, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Germany, Genscher, advocated uh, that Croatia and uh, Slovenia be recognized right away. Uh, parallel action was waged by the Vatican. Uh, the ambassador with the Holy See, Thomas Patrick Malady, in mid-1991, the Vatican initiated an unprecedented action and led the forces lobbying for the recognition of Croatia and Slovenia. In August 1991, Pope John Paul II sent uh, Archbishop Torano to Yugoslavia. On his return, he submitted a report stating that Serbia was indisputably the aggressor. This was another shameless lie. This was hypocrisy on the part of a spiritual leader. Aggression on one's own country is uh, uh, something that can only be conceived of uh, maliciously. However, this was accepted by the press, and there was perfect coordination between the Vatican and Germany. In December 1991, Genscher visited the Vatican. On his return on the 19th of December, he announced that Germany would recognize Croatia and Slovenia regardless of the positions of other countries, and this was carried out on the 23rd of December. The Vatican did this on the 13th of January 1992. Germany and the Vatican were led by their historical geostrategic interests. For years they worked on the destruction of Yugoslavia. This was stated by Helmut Kohl in the magazine uh, Pol Politics International, uh, issue 66. He said that the creation, uh, uh, that uh, the decisive period started when Kinkel became head of the security service of Germany, and he established close links with the Ustasha emigres. These were forces which worked on the breakup of Yugoslavia, according to the writings of the well-known American analyst Eric Schmidt Benbaum. These were Josip Malovich, Josip Bojkovac, Franjo Tuchman, and Stepan Mesic the present Croatian president. Message confirmed his role on Slovenian television by stating that the idea on the breakup of Yugoslavia was something he wanted to transmit to those who had the strongest influence on his uh, fate, Genscher and the Pope. I met Genscher uh, three times. He made it possible for me to contact the Holy See. The Pope and Genscher agreed to the total breakup of Yugoslavia, end of quotation. After this, recognition followed by other members of the European community in January 1992. In the case of Bosnia and Herzegovina, this happened on the 6th of April of the same year. On the very date of Hitler's attack on Yugoslavia in 1941, the 6th of April, the federal entities were recognized and in there, as it is stated, internationally recognized borders. However, never in any international document were the administrative borders recognized. There was not even an internal document about these borders. What is most important in all this 
recognition is a one-sided political act, whereas uh, the establishing of borders is uh, a uh, process, an internal process. The units that were recognized did not meet the elementary prerequisites to be recognized as states. Uh, for a state to be recognized, uh, it needs to have a legitimate state apparatus, a st stable political structures. There must be a monopoly of power within the territory, full control over the use of power. And what is most important, a state has uh, to express uh, its strength and its ability to provide security on the international and internal levels. None of uh, this uh, was complied with. Uh, there was a bloody civil war which will be recorded as something unique in modern history, uh, but in a very negative way. In legal circles throughout the world, the recognition of the rebel forces uh, caused a great astonishment uh, and was condemned. Cedric Thornbury, uh, the uh, leader of the Amprofor, uh, stated, oh, I quote, when Ambassador Cotillero notified him, uh, notified us of the decision uh, to recognize, uh, General Morion and I were astonished. Uh, the French uh, uh, newspaper Figaro called this legal hypocrisy. General Mackenzie, in his memoirs, states, although we were not diplomats, all of us in uniform were sure that fighting would break out all around us as soon as recognition is announced, end of quote. Cyrus Vance. Special Envoy of the UN Cyrus Vance stated that recognition of Slovenia, Croatia, and Bosnia and Herzegovina by the European community and the United States, I quote, led to the war that is being waged on the territory of Yugoslavia. He said this in September 1992. The recognition of fictitious states in a civil war represents an indirect form of aggression against the Socialist Federative Republic of Yugoslavia. Along with a powerful media campaign and um, a, a deluding the international community by violation of international law and the laws of the United Nations, the secessionist uh, states were recognized as members of the UN. The rest of the Yugoslavia, um, the core part of Yugoslavia, were imposed with sanctions in May 1992, and the country was isolated, and in July of the same year, they were um, excluded or expelled from the United Nations. Only because we did not accept by a stroke of the pen to have the existing state deleted, the state in which we were living. In this legal chaos and this moral decline of the leading powers in the post-Cold War period and of the Vatican, the way was opened for craziness and lawlessness from the borders in the south to Kosovo in the, in the north to Kosovo in the south. This ad hoc tribunal was formed also with the one and only object objective of covering up the piled up mistakes of a Western policy and to justify the crimes, the destruction of a state, and the highly technological barbarism committed by the NATO countries in their three month bombing of Yugoslavia. Mass crimes were committed against its citizens, medieval heritage of the Serbian people in Kosovo was destroyed, and so on and so forth. By instrumentalizing extremely complex events in the territory of Yugoslavia and by placing the responsibility on Yugoslavia and myself personally as aggressors, um, a very um, obvious tactic was used to close the circle and prevent logical thinking based on empirical um, principles. Senseless, vulgar theories about